I'm CBS News Texas First Alert meteorologist Dominus Brown getting you ready for the total solar eclipse this April, Monday, April 8th. Let me tell you, it's going to be an event that you don't want to miss. When we talk about a solar eclipse, that's when the moon is positioned between the sun and Earth. And it looks as if the moon is just as big as the sun, covering up the full disk of the sun. We can actually see the outer rims of the sun called the corona. Now, as we continue looking ahead in this forecast, it's going to be spectacular for us. We're going to hope and pray that we have no thunderstorms or no clouds around. But let me show you the different types of eclipses. If you remember last fall, we had an angular eclipse. That's when the moon covered up the sun, but we were actually able to see a ring of fire around the moon. Now for the total eclipse here, that's when the moon will cover up the entire disk of the sun. So we'll likely see the corona, the sun's outermost rim, but it's also going to be a partial eclipse before and after totality. So you're going to need some special glasses in order to look at this event. Now we're going to be in the sweet spot when we talk about the path of totality. It's going to run right through Texas, right through DFW. You won't have to go too far here in our area to see this spectacular event. So let's take a closer look at it with some of the times here. So it will begin in Mexico and it will continue moving toward Texas as we head into the early afternoons of Monday, April 8th there. So you'll see toward Austin about 135 in the afternoon. It will continue moving toward Waco and Hillsboro a little closer to 138, 139. And then it gets even closer to North Texas and right over Dallas a bit closer to 142 in the afternoon. Fort Worth will be right on the edge of the shadow right there of totality. But again, they're going to be several communities here, including Kaufman there, also for Greenville and Blue Ridge, right on that center line there of totality. It continues heading toward Paris about 145 in the afternoon and over toward Oklahoma, Arkansas, and it will continue moving toward the Midwest as we move through the rest of the afternoon. Just another look at this. So we're going to have a partial eclipse first, then a total eclipse and then back to a partial eclipse. So that means before totality, we need to wear special eclipse glasses. The partial eclipse will begin for Dallas at about 1223 that afternoon and then maximum eclipse there. That's totality. That's going to happen at about 142. And again, we'll likely be able to see the corona of the sun at that time. Then once we head after totality, you need to put those glasses back on. So during totality, you can actually take your glasses off. All right, that's going to be something to see there. And then once we have the partial eclipse coming back in to view, you'll need to put those glasses back on. So again, totality, we'll have up to four minutes of darkness in the afternoon. It's going to be kind of crazy, all right? Something uh, a once in a lifetime experience for us. Cities like Hillsboro, Sulphur Springs are going to be on the path center line. And this is something that you need to keep in mind here. Wear eclipse glasses before and after totality. During the partial eclipse, you'll still be able to see the sun and gradually you'll see the moon moving over the sun. So you'll need to wear those glasses. And during totality, when you can actually see the corona of the sun there, you can take those glasses off up to about four minutes. And once you see the moon starting to pass away from the sun, you'll have to put those glasses back on so you can protect your eyes. During totality, though, the sky will darken as if it's dawn or even dusk, and it may even feel a little cooler. So it won't get completely dark like the nighttime sky, but looking dawn or like dusk here in North Texas. And just a couple things just to keep in mind when you talk about looking at the sun here. Don't look directly at the sun. You want to protect your eyes, OK? And you don't need to wear your regular sunglasses. It's just not going to offer uh, the right protection. You want to make sure you're using special solar glasses or filters. You can go online to find approved lists there. And when you're trying to make sure your glasses are actually working correctly, go outside and try to look up at the sun. When you look through those glasses, you can only see the sun. OK, if you see anything else, trash those glasses and also keep in mind to observe. You can observe the sun uh, indirectly by projecting the sun's image with a pinhole or even binoculars. So just something to keep in mind as we get a bit closer to this spectacular event of a total solar eclipse here in North Texas. You don't want to miss it.